how do I deal with a customer or a potential client who asked me to do something that I don't feel is right or within my capabilities? Is there a solution to politely decline doing work for them without upsetting them, but possibly still having them as a, a client in the future type of deal? This is one of those, like, how can you try to do the right thing, but whether it's against your own moral code or within, like you said, like I mentioned too, if it's just something that you can't do, sure. how do you approach that situation? Well, I mean, the first thing I would say, it's kind of an interesting question because I'm trying to think about how I could frame it in a digital marketing setting. But um, the first thing I would say is anytime you're coming across something like this, especially if you're talking about something that maybe is against your moral compass or things like that, I would say, you know, always uh, be transparent with the person you're talking about and just be as, uh, you know, as open as you can about the reasons it may be. Like, um, I'll, the only thing I can think of right off the top of my head would be, you know, one of the things we've had as a rule from the very start of uh, the agency is that we will not work with two clients in the same marketplace. Uh, so, if somebody is too close to an existing client that we work with, we will typically have to turn the business down and not be able to work with that particular client. So, um, you know, in those cases, a lot of times, some of them that may approach us, I'm friends with in the industry, I've known for a long time, I don't necessarily want to turn down the business, but it's the right thing to do because we already have a client. So in that situation, I really just try to explain to them what the situation is. I say to them, if the shoe were on the other foot and they were the client and somebody else were asking us to work with them, I would. the answer would be exactly the same to the other person. It's just kind of the policy that we have. And I appreciate the fact, I, I tell them that I appreciate the fact that they reached out to us and gave us the opportunity, but with the current timing, it's probably not going to work out. And I've always, I, I feel like had, decent success and just being completely honest and forthright with people and telling them what the situation is. I think what happens sometimes when you try to like create a narrative around something that isn't necessarily just trying to hide something or whatever and not really say the truth that way. Sometimes it gets to the point where then you're, it's just, you're having to make up more and more and more stuff instead of just getting right to the topic. But I'm not sure. I, I mean, the only thing I can think of in the industry, obviously we work a lot with people in the window film industry and it may be like somebody asking somebody to tint something extremely dark on a car that they don't feel comfortable would be safe uh that could be something where you know somebody say you know being willing to say no i'm not gonna put 35 percent on your windshield or something of that nature um you know again i think you know if you have a position and you feel confident in it and that's how you truly feel i think you know just own up to that be transparent with the person and tell them exactly where you stand and if if the business has to go down the road or, or go away you're better off doing that you're going to feel better about yourself anyway so i don't know i know that's not really a digital marketing question but trying to do the best i can to weave it in no i i appreciate you trying to weave that in to me it was one of having gone through this situation and kind of trying to figure out exactly how do you respond? I think sometimes if it's something that you're just, whether it's so ridiculous and it comes to you and you want to like instantly react in a way that might be a little too, uh, too sharp. Sometimes if I wanted to kind of, what are you talking about? Or like, just it, to me, it was take a moment, think about it, like try to respond in a respectful way. If it's something uh, that's kind of, it just makes more sense to, to if you want to keep them as a customer or just want to make sure that their understanding of your position. I think it's obviously one of the things we've always talked about is trying to treat everybody with respect and, and realize like, hey, this this is how this is. I'm sorry if this isn't what, what you were hoping for, because uh, in that way you're not burning a bridge. And I think that's kind of the key to a lot of different marketing or just relationships in general is making sure that you're not just giving a snap reaction that in the moment might ups like they might not realize that it's something that yep. is that you're not going to be able to do. And they were just trying to gauge the situation and see if it was something that would work. So always take a moment. Don't just fire off, whether, especially if it's a text or cause 
obviously if you're in person, you're face to face and you can kind of gauge how that is. But a lot of times we're getting emails or getting texts and you kind of put a voice on it that isn't there sometimes. And so just making sure that you're stopping, thinking over it for a moment and then kind of giving a respectful response back if it's something that you can't do. So, yeah, I think I think being trans as much as you possibly can without violating somebody else's personal information or private information, being transparent and doing the right thing. I mean, usually if you explain to somebody the reasons that you're doing something, I think that usually goes a long way. I mean, I think a lot of times where people get upset is when they are assuming that you're turning down the business for one reason or another, and that's really not the truth or, you know, that you're not doing it or something like that. So I think if you, if you could be as clear as possible and let them know why and, you know, if somebody gets upset, they get upset, but you just, just, if you, if you really feel strongly about it, you got to do what, what you feel good about, you know? 